it is the 19th of December and this is the second play session okay so walk back to me okay undock on my way All right so what happened was uh, yeah I don't need to recap on what happened it's just straightforward right let me open this up decline sorry mate don't want to attack you um, where is he? Puppet maker. Warped member. Okay. Warp drive active. Okay. <laughs> okay. That makes more sense. Right. So. You're controlling. So Drake is the guy I'm going to play with, right? Okay, he says going to show you the jump drive as I scout you into low sec. All right. Let's uh, approach this guy a bit. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. I'm actually going to. So I'm going to use this. Uh, too bad I don't have the, the the long range, the radio wave thing. I really like the radio wave thing. The radio. Um, ah, sorry. Ship stopping. Um, I'm also going to do a thing called fleet warp. If you just randomly start warping, don't cancel. I'm warping you. Uh oh. Jump. Warp drive active. Uh, did, did I do something wrong? Uh, oh, what was I supposed to? Ah, okay. You said about fleet warp. So I thought I would I would be warping with you or something. Okay, jumping to low set. Okay, so let's keep an eye on stuff. Okay, Drake is with me. Where is Drake? Where is Drake? Okay, Drake is there. Who is this? See that burst? Go ahead and kill it. Okay, he says... I need to kill burst. Okay. Where is burst? Your security status.
Uh oh. Uh, I think I got in trouble. He just told me to start shooting at that guy. I. Okay, I, I still don't get what. Wait, 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 did that guy, was, was that guy a bad guy? Because I don't want to just... Oh, was that guy a bad guy? Uh, that's, that's the question, right? No, but it was a dumb guy sitting AFK on a gate in Volsa. Ah, man, that... I feel so bad, actually. I honestly don't want to... Oh. feel a bit bad doing that. But getting away with it... Alright, now top left of your screen. Couple of uh, things to go through. Okay. Top left of your screen. Couple of things to go through. You mean the warning signs. Right? Okay, so let me get this straight. Um, did my security status drop? No, it didn't drop. When you first... Uh, uh, when you first started shooting, you got what's called a weapons timer, meaning from last aggression you cannot talk or jump for a full minute and the timer restarts after each aggression. Oh, okay. Okay, that was the capsule log off time. No, 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 I think that was this thing. No? Okay, that one is gone now. So you can be freely shot or potted in high sec while it is active. I see. I see. I see. So, wait a minute. Question is... Question Ooh, is... Active. Because I did that... Did I lose my relations with anyone? Like Concord? Or get a bounty? Ah man, I feel kinda bad for doing that. Uh, I apologize for everyone who who gets killed like that. I, I guess I didn't kill the guy's pod, right? So in, in that regards, that wasn't extremely bad, right? Right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Fine. So how do I stay above minus one? Wait. He's going to go put that guy. Why port that guy? Is he still at that location? This guy is a bad... No, I, don't know, I don't know if he's bad, but he, he likes this stuff, I think. <laughs> uh, he's... Uh, Let me check his employment history. Wow, the guy's been playing since 2006, so yeah, I guess he knows what he's talking about, definitely. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, not anymore. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you just had to check, didn't you? <laughs> this guy is funny, seriously. Right, so, okay, one more question, actually. How do I... I, um... Actually, a question. What can I do to increase my, um... Security status? And also, did that guy receive one of those... Uh, what do you call one of those? Uh, what was it called? And also, did that guy receive one of those uh, kill rights against me? Okay. Docking permission requested. Docking I'll repair my ship. Okay, what is it? Uh, repair. Wait. No, um, he just still receive a kill, uh, kill right against me. Wait, no repair. Uh, station in this station. No repair service in this station. Okay, I guess I'll have to find another one. So... Okay. Yep, I think that. So, when someone... Uh, let me go to that place first. Uh, he said to go where? Uh, planet 3. So when uh, someone active, so someone can't find you through using uh, kill right, right? As in, you still have to find the person you want to take out before you can activate the kill right and kill him. Correct. Yep. So someone can. Uh, I guess my question is: 
can I find you uh, location through may adding you to my contacts so watch this question is can I find your location I don't think you can, right? You still have to find the person. Alright, oh, kill rights means anyone can activate it for a price. <sighs> That's sad. I didn't really want to... No. It says that price. I see. Gotcha. Thank you for putting my life at the hands of everybody. <laughs> All right. So um. I see. So this is PvP. It's interesting. Um, it's a kind of sad that I'm doing it with this character because I also want to get back to um, doing PV uh, and you know PV. Oh no, what are your PVE uh, missioning? And because I'm doing uh, combat with this character, I had to keep an eye around me yeah, always to make sure that somebody doesn't you know gank me. If he puts the kill right on you, dock him up. And talk him up and say, sure thing. Then bring in your other character in a ship with guns, undog. Ooh! I get what that guy wants to do. That is an awesome idea. Hey, kind of liking the fact that I got a second sub right now. <laughs> so apparently, what he's suggesting is that to, to get out and uh, when when somebody activates a kill right on you, you get out, uh, dock yourself, get a cheap ship get your old character up to that person and uh, get to killing him because that will clear out the kill right all right so what various activities are we going to do next? Let me repair myself. Should I get some drones? Okay, he's telling me it's the last chance for. Four. Should I get a repair module? Just in case. 
In my storage, that is. Okay, so he's given me a warning that I should uh, Man, what the hell? He's <laughs> actually... <laughs> actually have a corpse of someone. And he is freaking 80 kilograms. Fat clones, huh? What? Did I kill him? I thought I... No... I thought I didn't kill his pod. I... I feel bad. Dude... Ah, okay, I didn't kill the pot. No, oh, thank goodness. He killed the pot. This guy is wicked. Uh, still. <laughs> uh, crazy, man. Alright. Alright. So, <laughs> what to do? Okay, let me first check for a repair module in this system. Uh, how... Oh, there's no repair modules in this system. Too bad. Let's just get out. Docking permission requested. Okay, I better, I better dock back into Docking this. Docking permission requested. I, I gotta take the... Alright. I'm out. Left. That corpse in that station, just in case I lose the ship. And no repairs. So, shall we con journey? Ah, no worries. I'll stick on it. So he needs to go to the loop and these are some nice stations. Seriously, the the the, the Galenti stations look nice. Ah, it's the same goes. Grass is always greeny on this side, right? Alright, make sure you hug the station. Okay. Now, I guess I had to be prepared to really lose the ship because that's what this game is about, right? Oh, there he is. What's this ship he's using actually? Show info. He's using a. Oh, well, he's using a basic ship. I guess because of the fact that he might lose the ship, right? Okay. Yep. Ready. Also, that is a guarantee carrier. Do not shoot. Gonna shoot random stuff. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so he says, don't jump until he tells me to. So I guess he's the scout. And he wants me to wait to decide because maybe there's a bubble on the other side. Okay, jump. Jumping. Aunsa. Done. From this point onwards, we spend a lot of time, um, well, searching, jumping around, and looking for targets. And uh, I'm gonna skip ahead some of the boring parts to get to the, well, first to the upsetting thing. <laughs> I guess hunting for PvP targets is always not that, uh, you know, it's not something that's... I guess uh, PvP is one of the main reasons why this game was created. I just don't feel right about doing it all, that's the only thing. Man, the waiting is killing me. So, how are you finding these targets? As in, what makes them a player and target? It tells me that uh, we're basically going to kill a target if we can kill it or if we suspect that it is weak enough for us to take out. And um, I also did a mistake at this point, which is when he told me to warp to Austin Gill, I jumped into Austin Gill. So in a fleet, if somebody says warp to some place, that means to warp to it and not to jump through it if it's a gate, for example. But if somebody says jump, that means you actually use that gate. So just side note. Oh, okay. So PvP doesn't really have a real straight out benefit, uh, except that you you have fun apparently. The thing with taking out that um, person and you know the 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 slow drag of what we were doing was seriously starting to get to me and I was feeling a bit uh, okay why did I dock kind of losing what's so well, fun about doing this because uh, not really that exciting just going around killing random people Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like doing this. Ah. Uh.
Nah, I'm... So two against... One, huh? Nah, I'm out. So after feeling a bit down on the whole activity of uh, hunting other players, I decided that I'm gonna stop and uh, I just honestly tell him that I want to, you know, back out of this uh, activity. <sighs> I'm out. I actually don't want to do this. I'll feel the vibe on this thing. It's not just a. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's really not fun, uh, as far as I am concerned. Where the hell am I? I have no idea. What got bad is. I am supposed to save that guy. What the hell?
Warp drive active. Okay, that was quite exciting. Okay, I got a kill on someone. Calling, uh. Called. I just. Okay, he did most of the work, I guess. But. Yeah. Warp drive active. Okay, so this is my first kill apparently and I got a bounty. I got bound I got a bounty paid. Uh, he's a Eve University person, right? Ooh, I feel bad taking out this guy. Um Honestly, I didn't really uh, fully understand um, going on. Um, okay, I better dock up. Dock up, dock up, dock up, dock up. Dock. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Uh. No fix required. No fix required. So I'm not going to try to recap what happened because the video speaks for itself. But I believe what Drake was uh, mentioning about putting a GF in local was to put it uh, so that the others could see it. Now here's the thing. That's after I uh, docked at the station, I noticed that Comrade Blade and Pex Tarkas had put up GFs on the local. Now, that got me really thinking. I mean, these guys aren't mad that we destroyed them. I mean, destroyed their ships. It's like as if they're looking for a fight. It's like as if the people who are in Nelsec are all looking for fights. And that whole guilt that I was feeling about, you know, finding people, taking them out, I was starting to understand, you know what, they're doing the same thing probably. Well, probably not everyone, but that's what Drake was saying, you had to 
know which fights to pick and which fights not to pick. And I started to understand that, you know, this is an exciting thing and for some people this is what they want to do in this game. And I can relate to that because I play uh, Battlefield 3, I play um, Call of Duty, I play a lot of online games and, well, not subscription but uh, like I said, the last subscription game was World of Warcraft, and I haven't been in that environment for a long time. Now, in games like Battlefield, you die so many times, but you also kill so many times. My kill-death ratio is pretty decent. Um, I don't want to boast, by the way. <laughs> anyway, um, but the thing with those kinds of games is that you die, you, you know, you... I don't know, regenerate, come back to life, you know, you, you restart the session or you restart the next match. Your gameplay doesn't get affected. All the weapons you unlocked, you still have it. All the skills that you have, you have it, right? That's not affected. I mean, even World of Warcraft, the penalty comes in terms of repairs, which is just gold. You don't really lose as much of stuff like EVE Online. In EVE Online, you lose your ship, that it may be a couple of days work to recover that money, maybe a couple of months work to recover all that money. Maybe you're carrying a, a huge payload of goods to be delivered to another station. You die, you lose that. In World of Warcraft, if I remember correctly, you don't lose your stuff that you're carrying with you, even if you die, right? I mean. In this game, you're carrying, I don't know, a billion-esque worth of goods. You die, you lose all that. Your corp is going to get angry at you. <laughs> okay, I doubt a corp is going to, um, a corporation is going to send someone with one million, well, one billion-esque goods alone. Uh, probably going to send an escort with him or her. Now, all this makes this game a lot more interesting when it comes to the player versus player interaction because both sides have some serious things to lose. It honestly brings it into a very higher level of risk than you would normally take in most uh, online games. I, I'm not, I don't know if there are any other games that have this much risk but this game has it. Am I sold on PvP? Is this my next big thing? Not really. Not right now. I can see that this is probably something that I will attempt once I get good at making money. Once I get good at making the ISK. Because if I don't have a constant flow of cash coming in, or a decent amount of cash coming in, I do not really want to start risking my ships, my gear, because, uh, you know, I, I guess it you, you had to think about it like that. I guess some of these players who are in the game are constantly fighting and just like any other, you know, multiplayer game, you're trying to get better at what you do and it's probably not a personal thing I mean like the person who took my Drake out the Navy Drake uh, probably wasn't personal she just them the group that was their task their job was to take out people who came in you know expensive ships or whatever targets that could be taken out and they get loot out of it. By the way, on this particular kill, uh, Drake gave me quite a lot of loot. He found those things. I probably think the guy was carrying the loot or maybe he had installed it. And the ship that we destroyed was a Tech 2 ship. And there was some really nice nifty gear in that. I, I think I got around about, uh, about 8 to 10 mil 
out of the sales. I can't totally remember how much I got out of it, but uh, I got a very decent amount of income from those uh, ships. The um, what, what else? Uh, what was I? Uh, just my train of thought right now. Yeah, the person who took my Drake out. They, that's their job. They just go out, look for targets to take out, and you know, loot it. They just happened to stumble upon me, who was flying a Navy Drake, inexperienced, using a totally horrendous fit, and had no clue about player versus player engagements. And uh, it was an easy kill. Now, why did that person pod me, as in kill my pod? Well, that, I don't know. Maybe because I was lounging around after that. What Drake told me was that uh, when you think that you're about to lose your ship, target a faraway location and just spam on warp. And just continue to spam on warp and even if you if your ship gets destroyed, there is a very likely chance that your pod will warp out. So, again, things that I will learn through experience, I guess. Uh, and I think that's what Drake was doing. He was putting me into the fray, right? Just the best way to experience PvP is to just get into it and do it. It's not something that you can be taught. It's just something you'll have to take the risk. My advice to people who want to go into PvP, get yourself some decent amount of income. Uh, look, a, a molar doesn't cost a lot. It's about 6-7 mil. I make 6-7 mil in my, uh, what, my procurer in about, what, 7 trips. No, not 7 trips, 5 trips. Now, I use a procurer if you use something like the... Uh, uh, what do you call that retriever you'll probably have to do only about two runs or maybe three runs to get that kind of money now of course the uh, there is also fitting and stuff like that but anyway you'll be spending around about 10 to 15 mil on your ship and you should be good to go to experiment and that's it it's that's just the thing about this game it's it's to experiment about different things and PvP is the biggest substantial thing that is you know the, the, the sub most substantial ex uh, activity that EVE Online has to offer and it's just amazingly good I think but uh, I will still refrain from making a judgment on what I want to do uh, uh, so for now, I'm just going to go back to completing my missions and, you know, trying out different things. But anyway, I thank Drake for this extremely fun session. And uh, I wouldn't mind uh, teaming up with him again to do such a run. Uh, but I guess uh, he's in a different level than me. He's he's total expert at that stuff and I still have a lot to learn. Probably it will take years to even come close to this guy's uh, level of expertise. So I hope you guys enjoyed this session. It was kind of being dragged out, kind of long, but I didn't want to edit too much because I wanted to show pretty much everything that happened and the, the whole activity as a without being edited so that you can see what it's like to go out to do this kind of stuff. I'm sure that some of you guys already know what it is like and you're probably are laughing at some of the stuff that I've been doing. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so till next time, 